Why do people join mass movements? Eric Hoffer, an American intellectual, believed that the answer lies in people's personalities rather than just the motives of the movement. In his 1951 book, The True Believer, Hoffer detailed the psychological causes of fanaticism and mass movements. He emphasized the idea that there is consistency in the personalities of adherents and in the structure of the movements. Hoffer argued that typically, potential converts to mass movements are disillusioned with current institutions. They are likely to dislike the government, but feel powerless to effect change. Further, Hoffer believed that the newly poor, or those considered misfits in society, are particularly prone to these movements. People bored with society or disadvantaged ethnic and social groups are more likely to look away from orthodox thinking. It is among this pool of individuals, Hoffer argues, that mass movements find themselves competing. Further, Hoffer believed that mass movements share many similar factors. Typically, when converts join a movement, they lose their personal identity and instead adopt the group's mentality. Also, Hoffer argues, the more successful mass movements tend to promote hatred towards a particular faction. This gives converts a direction in which they can channel their anger. However, Hoffer did not argue that mass movements must be violent. In some conditions, leaders such as Lincoln or Gandhi have been able to harness this social power for good. To examine Hoffer's theory more closely, let's consider the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis. Many people's wealth changed during this period. However, Hoffer would argue that some people were more likely to join mass movements. Bankers and investors were hit hard but are not likely candidates for mass movements. They do meet some of Hoffer's requisites, for example, being nostalgic about the past and unhappy about the present. However, they are an ingrained group in society and have a good chance to regain their wealth through the status quo. Other newly poor, in particular those of a lower socioeconomic status who lose a house or pension, are more amenable. They remember a better time, but have little hope of returning to it under the current system. These people also have a direction to channel their hatred towards, in this case, investors. Any rising movement would likely condemn this group as the reason for the recession. However, Hoffer would not argue that the movement must necessarily be violent. Instead, it could be harnessed to peacefully and positively serve society. Hoffer's work has been used in the analysis of mass movements for over 60